All right, this is Vegeta 8259 again, and the 2011 Shizuoka Hobby Show has finally started, and right off the bat, we've got lots of goodies uh, to show off. So anyway, um, all of the info that I'm going to be showing you uh, in this little video is from Gundam Guy, so if you want to see more, go check out his uh, blog. Uh, he, In my opinion, he's basically the new Geek Young. I mean... Gundam guy is incredible. What more can I say? Anyway, uh, let's see. So we start off giant Zaku head at the front, and we've got lots of new releases to cover. Before we go to new stuff, we got some pictures of Master Grade Epion, finally showing off the decals, and they look pretty nice in my opinion. Let's see, uh, box art also for Master Grade Epion looking pretty nice. Looks like it's going to be in the same size box that uh, Master Grade Death Scythe Hell was in. And a uh, very, very nice box art in my opinion. Let's see, here's another shot of Epion showing off more of the decals. Got some nice text here on the wings, lots of caution labels all over the place since it is a Katoki kit. And, oh, here's a clearer shot of the box art. There we go. Well, maybe not clearer. Here's a shot of it in the uh, twin-headed dragon thingy mode. And I thought this was a really cool diorama of Master Grade Wing Zero and Epion facing off with a cool custom-made lightning effect where the swords are clashing. I thought that was a really nice diorama there. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we did get some Gundam Wing kind of half announcements, I guess. Let's see, Master Grade Sandrock Verka. This is not it, by the way. This is a uh, high grade from the 90s. And the little place card next to it says on sale in 2011. Doesn't say when in 2011, but uh, it looks like Sandrock Verka or Sandrock EW, if you want, is going to be coming out sometime this year. Also, in that same display was Heavy Arms, again a 1 to 100 scale high grade. Um, it just says in planning so I'm thinking that's likely going to be a 2012 release for uh, Heavy Arms EW. Alright, uh, no mention of a Nataku though so it's still in the dark on that one. Moving down, Master Grade 00 Riser. Uh, I think pretty much everybody on the internet has seen this guy so far, although one thing that uh, I did notice was new that we haven't seen before are these little clear effect parts coming out of the uh, O-Riser for the uh, little GN particles that are going to be coming out of there. Again, this has got uh, five points for uh, the little light-up unit. One in each O-Riser section, one in the head, and then one in each GN drive. Uh, the kit only comes with one light-up unit, but if you were to have all five, you could have these little uh, clear effect parts lighting up as if they really were GN particles coming out, so I thought that was kind of cool. And next up, the big Master Grade announcement. We are getting a Master Grade Delta Plus. And uh, I believe it was back in January, I actually predicted uh, a Master Grade Delta Plus. Of course, I predicted it was going to be a spring release, but it's going to be coming out in August. Either way, I'm really, really happy about this kit. And uh, they seem to have gotten the prototype completely done by now, because they've got at least three or four of them out on display at Shizuoka, including one here, halfway transformed, which looks pretty nice. Looks like it's going to have a transformation very similar to the uh, Zeta 2.0. That's kind of a small picture. Uh, here it is in Wave Rider mode, again looking very very nice. And here's a nice little rundown of the uh, different points of the transformation. So I'm really really excited about this kit. And I think it's going to be a really big seller seeing as how popular Gundam Unicorn has been as of late. Uh, moving on to high grades, um, it was actually announced a couple weeks ago that the July high grade is going to be the GM3. 
So uh, up until now we've just had gray prototypes. Now we finally get some painted, colored images of the high-grade GM3. Looking pretty nice in my opinion. For those of you that like double Zeta Gundam. Also, next month's uh, high grade in June is the high grade GM Cannon 2 from Stardust Memory. Again, looking really nice. I still wish Bandai would have made a master grade of this guy because I'd kind of want one. Again, here's a front and back shot. Mainly a uh, retooling of the GM Custom, which came out uh, a couple months ago. Here is a, another shot of the high grade Dryson, which is coming out this month, just in a week or two, I think. And this one seems to. Oh, wait a minute. This actually looks like a new. Huh. I didn't notice this before. In this month in May, we're getting a uh, high grade Dryson sleeves version from Gundam Unicorn. But I just noticed that this little card down here says high grade Dryson double Zeta version and this one does not have the sleeves and it's got a different color scheme than the unicorn version which you can kinda of see right there in a small picture so I'm wondering if they're actually gonna have two releases now and it says on sale in late May so I'm wondering if they're actually releasing two Drysons instead of just one oh well I guess we'll find out anyway so that's coming out this month uh, now on to new high grade announcements. We're getting some new high grade future century stuff. Uh, G Gundam fans will be happy. We're getting a high grade future century master Gundam with Fun Psyche, the mobile horse. And looks like they're going to be a uh, two pack together. And let's see, the price was somewhere around here. Um, it's like 2,000 something yen. So, uh, yeah, about the price of two high grades you get two model kits in one box uh, looks pretty nice in my opinion I admittedly I thought this was going to be a master grade release at first but uh, turns out I was wrong and I guess it just goes to show that this uh, new high grade looks very much like the master grade master Gundam so uh, it does look to be quite a nice release and especially with Fun Psyche is going to well, I don't know. Some people might not like the horse, but uh, I like it. Anyway, uh, one advantage over the Master Grade is that this Master Gundam is actually going to have the cloak. That's one thing that really disappointed me about the Master Grade is it didn't have that. Uh, there's the price, 27,030 yen. 27,000, 2,730 yen, sorry. Uh, got a little, uh, whatever that thing was called, a little beam scarf with a tiny 1 to 144 scale Master Asia attached to the end of it and a giant uh, uh, I can't even remember what his his like dark finger or something I can't remember uh, anyway so high grade Master Gundam plus Fun Psyche not sure if they will be separated uh, in the future into two separate high grade releases or if they're going to remain as one release forever, I don't know. Also, from G Gundam, we're going to be getting a high grade Future Century Shining Gundam. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about this because I know Shining Gundam has a lot of fans. So, uh, and if I remember reading correctly, I think they were both coming out in the same month. August and August. Yes, both of them coming out in August. So it looks like we're going to get two high grades for that month. And Shining Gundam again looking very, very nice. And it looks like uh, we're going to get both versions. Um, like it looks like it's going to be transformable. It doesn't look like there's going to be two different versions like there was when uh, Gundam Unicorn came out in high grade. So it looks like you'll be able to switch between the two. Here's some more pics of Real Grade Strike Gundam. Um, it's showing Real Grade Strike with the uh, launcher and sword packs. However, I do want to stress that these are uh, modeled by a pro modeler for Dengeki Hobby Magazine. So I would not count on these being actually sold in the future. Uh, Dengeki Hobby may release them as like one of their special little magazine kits. But uh, for right now... It doesn't look like they're going to be on sale, so uh, 
too bad for those of you who wanted it. More pics of the uh, real grade Zaku 2, which is going to be coming out in July, I believe. Yes, July. And, uh, yeah, it looks like that's about it. More pics of SD Wing Gundam, Verka, slash EW. This is coming out in June, actually less than a month away. Um, one thing I do want to note about, about this kit is that, aside from the excellent color separation, which you can see here, it looks like Bandai has actually gone back to giving their SD kits articulated elbows, because it does look like the elbows can bend in this kit. Also, the little vents on the face are cut all the way through, just like on a uh, perfect grade or a real grade, so it looks like Bandai starting to step up the technology on their uh, SD kits. Oh, one other release, SD Kshatriya. And let's see if I can get a bigger picture. There we go. SD Kshatriya and SD Lotto. Not sure if they're going to be together in one set since the Lotto is so small or if they're going to be separate releases, but I would really like to get my hands on one of those. So uh, Kshatriya, I think, is definitely going to be on my to-buy list. And uh, let's see. Gun Ooh, more Gunpla Builders stuff. I didn't see that coming. Gunpla Builders J looks like a spin-off series. Um, looks like just some variants of the uh, uh, beginning Gundam. Uh, looks like these are going to be exclusive releases from Hobby Japan and Dengeki Hobby. So I don't think those are actually going to be uh, sold in model shops. Uh, one last Sangokuden kit, the Cubile, uh some Converge stuff. Transformers model kits, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee, as well as what appears to be a non-transformable Starscream kit. Um, we've got some new uh, aftermarket hands coming out. That uh, At first, uh, some people thought these were from Bandai, but Hobby Link Japan says that they are from Hobby Base, uh, the people that do Yellow Submarine, low option joints, and things like that. And it looks like these are going to be... Uh, 1 to 100th and 1 to 144 scale hands that are basically going to have perfect grade articulation. Not sure how these are going to be assembled, but uh, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on these because if they're not terribly fragile, those might actually be pretty nice to have. Uh, for you Kamen Rider fans, we've got uh, Master Grade Figure Eyes Kamen Rider Shin number 1 and 2. So uh, you guys can look forward to that later this year. And just some various uh, other non-Gundam stuff. So, really exciting first day from the Shizuoka Hobby Show. Uh, main highlights being uh, Master Grade Delta Plus and a lot of high grades. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but Delta Plus is slated for an August release. No mention of a July Master Grade. Um, there is a possibility that we might not have a Master Grade for July since the real grade Zaku comes out that month. Uh, they might skip a Master Grade like they did for real grade Strike Gundam. So anyway, I guess that about does it for this update video. Um, if there's any more news that comes out after this, I'll make another video. So make sure to keep your eyes open for that. Again, all this info came from Gundam Guy, so give his blog a quick look if you want to. And with that, I will see you guys next time.